Good day, fellas. Today is the ninth day of the second month of this account. And in my last video, I showed you my progress for the epic wheel coins for the Spring of Pegasus event. And by now I managed to um, finish my 160 reward. So I got the saloon as well as the sacred emblems. I didn't even have to use my uh, pink ocean auto loot materials. I will use those probably for the source of life. And I got 15 epic coins in here for the 300 reward. And um, I even managed to climb even further and I got 10 source of life um, for the 350 reward. Besides that, I did uh, spin uh, one complete round of the Spring of Spirit event as well, um, just to get the epic coins and the source of life as well as the five sacred emblems and the Melia. I did buy a few of the Spring of Spirit coins in here for the normal market value. Uh, so that's there were like uh, 10 coins for 300 diamonds and um, it was quite worth it, I would say, to get those sacred emblems, source of life and the epic magic coins. I ended up with 14 uh, coins left. Uh, even though I already finished the event because not uh, only did I got my ancient rune epic coins I unexpectedly got 10 more in here so day 4 I could have uh, saved quite a few diamonds if I wouldn't have bought those in the market quite um, a few, uh, few times I think 4 times or so um, so therefore I don't even have that much in diamonds left I need to save up a bit more again, um, but I will soon get a few from the Pegacon trial. Um, so there I have 1300 at the moment. And uh, as well uh, as for the uh, Ice World Adventure, I um, didn't manage to clear the floor 6 reward. Um, therefore, I bought another chest, the one for 2000 diamonds. So that's 15 ice eggs. I actually only had to use one single ice eggs to get to the next floor. So that was uh, kind of weird. <laughs> but I did uh, use um, two more uh, for already highlighted tiles from the relic with one double. So that were two source of life and one. Uh, heroic summon scroll and the other 12 ice eggs I will just leave in my inventory because at the end of the ice world adventure event um, these leftover ice eggs will be converted to diamonds 100 each so therefore it's even a viable option to just skip this event completely and just to buy the biggest one because and that's a better value than you get there so you pay 4,000 diamonds and you get uh, 5,000 in, in return. Uh, and additionally, you get the daily login ISX, which will be converted as well if you decide to skip this event. So that's a total of 5,200 diamonds for free. So that's um, another way to use this event. But um, for a really long time, these uh, rewards are actually worth it to just go for the Ice World Adventure um, after all. I did um, upgrade my gear quite a few times. So I have now a full six star set um, and I have one more five star set and the others are four star at the moment. And that's why I was able to climb in, in that high in the ancient ruin. I mostly used this setup. So Malok in front for CC, for crowd control, Nemir for durability, for survivability, 
and Kamazos for damage, of course. I had um, to use um, my Aemon uh, instead of my Kamazos for 20 stages, um, but uh, I won every single fight in there anyway, so that wasn't that bad after all. And if we look at the leaderboard, then you can see I'm not only rank 2 in the Doctor, but in the Ancient Ruin as well. I um, am actually thinking about skipping um, tomorrow's World Tree Summoning event. So I have 107 Source of Life at the moment. I could go at least one round, maybe even two. But uh, the rewards are um, Kirunus, so this one, and Nyx, which is um, quite decent, but um, she's only a supporter um, useful in specific setups and in the later part of the game. And therefore, um, even if I would go for the Voltry event right now, I would just summon even more demons. Um, to get my Kamazos to 10 star, possibly my Aemon to 8 star, um, but th that wouldn't uh, give me any kind of boost and towards my 16 star goal at the moment, um, because I would still need lots of 9 star for other races where I don't have lots of materials at the moment. And another Kirunos wouldn't be useful for me as well, because I already have and two projects for Dark Knight as well. So I'm working on my Nimir 8 star at the moment, maybe even 9 star with this one. And the next one will be Exo, and um, she will be um, the reward for tomorrow's event, Invitation of Valhalla. So I will get another one and then I can make her 9 star. This will be really helpful for future um, high damage setups and as well um, as for the demon race challenge in the ghost rift. Therefore, I'm, uh, as I said, I will probably skip um, this event tomorrow and I will just save my source of life even longer um, for probably one or two more months uh, up until uh, the time around Christmas or New Year's Eve. Um, because um, from all the rewards that have been released in the last uh, few months, I think uh, like um, my, my gut is telling me that um, the Lilith will be um, given as a reward anytime soon and she will be a really good option for me. Uh, I want to go for her and she would um, be uh, pairing well as priest with the exo which is a priest as well therefore i can just uh, go uh, for priest next in my academy so that's lots of reasons why i would like um, to save even more source of life just to be able to go multiple rounds in another future event all right, so that's it for today. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, um, I, I would be happy about a thumbs up and if you subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. See ya!